Hey Libras, so welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we're doing a general love reading. Only take the parts that apply to you if they do, okay? Anyway, let's start with them first and then we'll get to you, all right? So they got the Page of Pentacles in their recent past position. They also had the Ace of Swords, the Justice, which is your card, and the Seven of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or it could be another Libra, Cappy is here, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay? Doesn't have to be, could be any sign, all right? But anyway, the Page of Pentacles speaks about an offer. It also represents money finances okay i don't know if someone's been asking you for money or if this person you know came towards you with some sort of small talk or text or communication here or acting like they wanted to speak their truth with this um ace of swords some of you have nothing to do with this person okay you may have walked away from them you may see this person as a liar or a breadcrumber here with this page of pentacles and i feel like this person has realized that you're gone okay or that you are um checked out of this relationship okay so yeah it's like they want to hold on to this connection with you or still be on your good side but at the same time they're fucking deceptive or sneaky okay with the seven of swords so you may feel like you can't trust them this person may have got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing or they're dealing with some sort of karma here with that justice card all right but anyway i feel like they want to bring some sort of balance back into the situation but it's for their own benefit here okay so i feel like it's something that um isn't to be trusted about them okay and then the ace of pentacles speaks about an offer as well yep so i feel like they um they still want some sort of control over this connection okay but it's like they still aren't doing right by you and that's why some of you decided to uh, leave them the hell alone because you got the eight of cups here along with the um king of swords the world and the seven of swords okay in your recent past the eight of cups speaks about walking away okay so maybe i tired of their damn breadcrumbs or you just i don't know lost interest or got tired of this person whatever it is because the king of swords is emotionally unavailable okay so this is you not really taking a lot of action towards this person maybe the cycle closed out and you decided to do what was best for yourself okay with the seven of swords now there's a group of you who could still be on the fence about this uh connection with this two of pentacles should i stay should i go or somebody's juggling yep you could be juggling them and someone else or they are or were doing this to you okay now they've got the uh death card here in their current position the moon card the five of wands and the devil yeah okay so the death card speaks about endings okay so i feel like this person knows you guys are not on the same page but um it's like they still have some sort of toxic attachment to you or obsession here with this devil card and it's also like this is like a love-hate relationship okay and i'm not saying that they hate you necessarily it's like they're bitter angry mad jealous and they're keeping this a secret with this moon card this could be someone that um that you felt had too many secrets or they weren't being real with you okay it's like somebody did not have good intentions here when um when it comes to this relationship all right so yeah they feel like you guys aren't on the same page but they still don't want to let you go anyway you've got the um four of swords the knight of swords the uh seven of wands and the devil as well some of you this is definitely a capricorn or an aquarius okay you both have the same two cards in the same position all right but anyway the um the four swords speaks about stepping back taking a break okay you're not putting effort into this or when you do deal with this person it's like it's very dry or you're not um it's like you're just not emotionally available some of you are mad at them or it's like a lot of defensive energy going on here or you could be pushing this person away with the seven of wands okay um and then with the devil yes yeah, it's, it's a very toxic narcissistic dynamic between you and this person i don't know if it's them you both of you who act like this all right this could be a very specific reading so if you know you're not dealing with this type of connection okay libra then this is not for you all right but anyway they've um they've got the high priestess in the near future along with the uh knight of wands the king of cups and the nine of wands okay so the high priestess represents secrets silence you know things like that so again this is someone that you feel you cannot fully trust this person they don't keep it real with you or they they're dealing with other people or they could be on drugs or some other it's just too much okay whatever's going on here with them but i feel like they may pull away okay and uh then they're gonna come back yeah with this knight of wands um this person may want sex or there's still attraction here or desire they feel towards you or love okay they may you know have feelings for you with this um king of cups and it's like they know they should let this go okay or they feel like they should but they're still holding on with this nine of wands okay it's been hard to fully release this all right so some of you maybe this isn't over all right now you've got the three of pentacles in your near future okay libra 
along with the uh, Three of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Three of Pentacles speaks about work, okay? So some of you could be focused on your job or your business, your company, your hustle, whatever it is. Maybe you're not giving this person a time of day, could be talking to other people, um, or, you know, open and dealing with new options here. Or there's another group of you who are coming back around to this person. Yeah, so it's like both of you know that maybe this should end or this isn't working, but you guys may end up reconciling, okay? Or you may end up giving to this person again in some form or another. It could be a breadcrumb, okay? So I don't see you being fully invested in this, but some of you do still want um, some sort of an opportunity here with them or victory with that six of wands, okay? The upper hand, all right? So anyway, that's what came out. All right, Libras, if any of this resonated, feel free to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish you the best. Take care.